Hi guys, it's Sterling Inspector here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to mine Beam Coin. Before the video starts, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more crypto mining content. If you want to support the channel, then I have crypto donation addresses in the description below. So before we get into how to mine Beam Coin, let's look at what the coin represents and how it works. Beam Coin is a scalable private cryptocurrency based on both the Mimble Wimble and Lientas MW protocols that aims to explore the world of confidential decentralized finance. The project raised 2.5 million via private token sales before it hit the general public. The Beam blockchain utilizes proof of work to reach a network consensus. Using the Beam hash algorithm, Beam is able to enhance privacy and fungibility while reducing blockchain bloating and improve scalability. Addresses are not stored on the blockchain and transactions are private by default. To maximize privacy on the network, Beam utilizes Lientus MW, offering anonymity for its users. Beam is designed to be a deflationary coin with a cap supply, halving every four years and stopping emissions altogether after 133 years. The Beam token currently has two forms of utility, medium of exchange with full anonymity and confidential store of value. When Beam launched on January 3rd of 2019, it was announced that Beam will perform two hard forks. The rationale was to signal to ASIC developers that there's no point to start developing ASICs until the second hard fork is out. Beam timed the first fork roughly six months from the launch and the second one in mid-2020. The 10-month time frame is chosen considering how long it usually takes to develop a new ASIC chip. Beam Hash 3 is an improvement to the Beam mining network and is better for GPU mining and GPU miners. As memory consuming operations in the design of the Beam Hash 3 allows for better use of the fuller capabilities of a GPU card. So for us miners, they have really tried to accommodate for GPU mining while still having a plan in place to cater to ASIC miners when they are inevitably created to join the network. The price of one coin is right now around 12 cents with a circulating supply of 116 million coins. This puts the market cap at a very small 13 million. So far, the highest coin has been is at $3 back at the start of the coin's launch. Because it's a very small coin, it also has potential to go up and therefore now is one of the best times to start mining this coin. The max supply is 260 million coins, so over 50% has already been mined or bought. Now we've learned a bit about the coin, let's get into how to actually mine the coin. So we need three things, a wallet, a mining pool and a miner. If we head over to Beam website, we can click on the download button and then on the wallet tab. As you can see, the main wallet that they prompt to use is the wallet app for your phone, but you can also get a desktop wallet. Each one will give you your own personal wallet address, which we'll need for the next step. So once you've finished setting up your wallet, you'll want to copy your personal address and paste it into a notepad or Word document. Once you've done that, let's now pick a mining pool. Now to choose a pool is all up to where you live and the percentage of the pool fee you want to pay. When you look on the mining pool stats website, we can see that there's 10 beam pools and the most of them are worldwide. There are also solo options and I would say that solo mining this coin is probably a better option if you have a medium amount of hashing power. But today I'm going to be going with two miners as our mining pool because it has a big network hash rate and offers worldwide coverage. So we click on two miners and then click on the how to start button. Lastly, we need to select a miner. For Nvidia GPUs, I recommend G Miner or MB Miner, and for AMD GPUs, I recommend LOL Miner or B Miner. Today, I'm going to be using MB Miner. So you'll want to type in MB Miner on Google and go to the GitHub. Once here, download the latest version of the miner. Unzip the miner file and it will give us the pre made batch files. We are looking for a Beam batch file like this here. Now we want to right click and edit the file. This is our command line and it will basically tell our GPU to start mining. Now we want to go back to the two miners page and look for the MB miner text. It should look like this. Now take this and copy and paste it over the text in our open miner file as seen here. Next we want to make sure the server is correct. To do this we go back to the two miners page and we can see all the server options here. We want to copy the one which corresponds to your region then paste that over the server and port in the miner file as I do like this. Lastly, we need to copy our wallet address that we have on our notepad and paste it over the text that says your wallet address in the miner file. 
Then you can change the name of your rig after that dot by the wallet address. All you have to do now is close the file and save it and you should be ready to start mining Beamcoin. To check out if it has worked, double click the file and it should start confirming shares on the network. If for any reason this doesn't work then please join the discord and I'll help you guys out in there. The link for that is in the description. The last thing we need to do is check and monitor how our mining is going. To do this all you have to do is copy your wallet address again and paste it into the search bar at the top of the 2 miners page. Hit enter and it will take you to your mining dashboard. This will display everything you need to know about your miner. Here we have your current hash rate now, how much effort you're putting towards a block and the amount of time participated on that block. Next over here you have your balance of coins mined. This is before it gets paid out to your wallet. I believe the minimum payout for wallets is 3 beam coin. Under that is the awaiting balance that the network still needs to confirm and then the price of the coin is below that. If we look here we can see the revenue over the past 60 minutes, 12 hours, 1 day, a week and a month. The hash rate chart will show if your hash rate is at an even rate. Normally the hashing will fluctuate so don't be worried if it's up and down a little bit. Lastly we have the worker or rig tab which just shows you what rigs are mining to this wallet. So that's how you mine Beamcoin. If you enjoyed the video then please like and subscribe to the channel.